Namaste. My name is uh, Srinivas Nidamarti. I'm a volunteer in Silicon Andhra Manabadi. Uh, today we are going to talk about what uh, Manabadi is doing uh, for uh, children to learn Telugu um, in and around Michigan. And today we have uh, Sri Srini Tontagaru. Namaste, Srini. Namaste. Garu. Srini. Uh, Srini Tontagaru is a coordinator for Michigan, uh, Manabadi. There are several centers that is Manabadi is uh, conducting Telugu classes in Michigan. Srini Garu, um, thank you very much. Thank you for coming here and taking time to spend uh, and clarify a uh, lot of things about uh, Manabadi uh, to our uh, friends and Telugu families. Um, First of all, before we ask, uh, we want to know more about uh, Manabadi. I would like to know, there are many families who come here. Uh, many come for short-term assignments. Uh, some have come and have settled here. So many of them have children growing up in United States. So for those children, why and what's the advantage of learning Telugu all the way separated from India? What benefits actually they can accrue by learning Telugu? Kindly tell us. Definitely. So we have greeted each other with uh, Namaste. So this Namaste is a tradition that we are following. Similarly, the culture that we are inculcating and we are preserving and we are passing on to next generations has a deep impact on the lives of the, our kids. And then when they grow up, they are going to enjoy the culture that we believed is our own and we wanted to carry, carry, on, carry it on further. So, <clears throat> If you look at Telugu, which is thousands of years of old, before talking about the language, let us talk about our personal lives. You like your first name and more than that, you have a deep bonding with your last name. Your last name is carried to you from generations and you are going to pass it on. All Telugus also have a common last name which is nothing but Telugu, our great language. When you came to USA, you may have made curds. I bet you are enjoying the same strain of curds even today. So when you save the curds and when you continue the legacy of curds or be it gold, why not our great language and great culture? Then you are the